Ben is dead, so everything's okay. Yes, um, last episode, um, if you guys didn't see it, um, we had quite a lot of options as far as, like, who we could, uh, bring with us, um, for this final little part here. Oh, no. Oh, Clem. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, we, we played, uh, episode four, and, uh, um... We ended up, uh, we ended up killing Ben. We sacrificed Ben for the good of the party. Um, but he was a screw-up anyway. <laughs> Plus then he went, like, he went all noble towards the end. So, we do not have Ben. Um, uh, uh, Lee got bitten, um, or scratched, I guess. We had that discussion on what does it mean to get scratched by a zombie. Um, so we have, it, it's, it's Lee... Kenny, and we told them about the scratch, so we have, uh, Krista and Omid, um, yeah, and I think it's, uh, I think it's just the four of us, and then we have to go find, we have to go find Clem, uh, because she was taken, um, we still don't know by who, uh, Molly left, um, towards the end of the episode, as did, um, that older guy, I forget his name, um, but he left, uh, and then he went back to, he was in that little, that bunker, and he asked us if he, if we wanted him to look after Clem, because he said, you know, we have a safe space, um, uh, uh, um, shoot, what was the name, uh, Claremont or something, Wh whatever the name of that city was, um, that, you know, had all the people who kill children, um, uh, they were all gone, so he said we should be relatively safe down in our little bunker. We have lots of food. Um, you know, we're with people who, um, you know, some of us are sick, but a lot of them were like cancer survivors and stuff like that. And, you know, he's a doctor and he knows how to take care of people. Crawford, thank you. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody's in Crawford's dead, so we should be relatively safe down here. I'm going to go back there with everybody else who was there. Do you want me to take Clem? Um, and we ultimately said no. You know, Clem's, Clem's with us. Um, and he's like, okay, we'll think about it, you know. Um, and then, you know, we, we kind of lost line of sight of Clem. And when we went to go find her, we found her hat and, uh, you know, um, and the walkie-talkie. And then someone's talking to us Always over the walkie-talkie, um, saying that they have Clem, but we don't recognize the voice. Um, we went back to the bunker, and all of the all of the food was gone, all of the people were gone. Um, so we had suspected that that guy, Vernon, thank you, um, uh, we had suspected that Vernon took her. Um, but then when we talked to the person on the walkie-talkie, um, he said, I have Clem. And I think he said he said something about Vernon, like Vernon is also here, or no, it wasn't Vernon. Um, I forget the exact wording, but I got the 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 gist that he either knew Vernon or maybe Vernon was there with them. I, we don't know if like maybe Vernon took her and took her to whoever this guy is. We don't know who this person is, why he's been following us, why he wants Clem. We don't know any of this. It's just this mystery person right now, and we're trying to figure out, you know, why and who this is. Um, I guess that maybe also Molly might have taken Clem um, and, and taken her to this mystery person. Um, I don't know. I'm really just kind of up in the air. I, I don't know. Um, the uh, we did see a mysterious man um, whenever we were burying that that kid with his dog in the backyard. We saw this mysterious man, and he almost looked like he was like in a in a, in a suit or something. Um, and he was kind of in the shadows, so we, like we didn't see him really clearly, and it was really fast. Um, but we looked at him, we saw him. He was like watching us, and he, we looked at him, and he ran away. Um, that was before we met Molly, but it definitely wasn't Molly. Um, so who is that mysterious guy? Is that who has Clem? Is it somebody we know? Is it some new character? I have no idea. I have no idea. But, um, but no spoilers, no hints, no, 
nothing like that. I don't want any hints. I don't want any spoilers. I don't want any suggestions. Um, just let me play at my own pace and make my own decisions for better or for worse. Um, and we'll see how this goes. We can just call him Bob. Yes, Bob has taken Clem. Um, and, and like I said, Lee got, uh, Lee did get scratched, um, by a zombie. So, um, as we've determined, um, he's basically that, uh, that weakens your immune system. So he's, uh, he's basically said, I don't have a lot of time left. I'm going to die soon. And then, you know, when he dies, he becomes a zombie. Um, so that is our other, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of rushing against the clock and we did choose to tell, um, uh, we did choose to, to tell the others that we were bit because we did get that option to hide it from them because all we did was got like a little little scratch um, um, on, on, on our wrist. Um, so, but we did choose to tell them and they're like, you know what, Lee, we got your back. Um, you know, let's find Clem before, before you bite it. So... <laughs> Obviously, there are vampires. Human Bob. <clears throat> Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. And she's still Babe, wanting to look for her parents. This. Maybe it's her Here, parents. I want some uh, batteries? But why would they be so malicious about it, though? But we'll batteries. be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! Ben. <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! The railroad? <laughs> Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I don't know how much time I've got. I'm gonna need your help to find her. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Kenny! Kenny's my hero. He, he's Clementine. gonna die, isn't he? A really serious, brooding voice. It can't be her parents. Because why would they sound so malicious? Hello, Lee. Thanks for bringing our daughter to us. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get Boys. hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Oh, yeah. Time's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This is the kidnapping league. Oh my god, is it that cop? Then what is it? A rescue. It is Bob. Hi, Mally. You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? It doesn't matter. It is what it is. It is what it is. We don't have much time. Oh! 
You forgot to put the sign back We're up. Close the door or something. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're Thank still you, Kenny. the smartest fucker out of all of us. So <laughs> find another way out of here. Kenny, you are my bro. I'm gonna be so sad when you die. Hey. We'll have time to chit chat later. <laughs> he said I wanna chit chat. Nothing through here. Except the zombie. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Can't those things let up for a fucking minute? Just keep looking for another way out. I got this. They're gonna keep yelling at us for just chit chatting. I should keep looking for a way out. Yeah, get to it. <laughs> Love it. Any trouble? There's thousands of dead filling the sewers, and God only knows how many up top, so, you know. <laughs> this isn't gonna help. Just some surgical supplies. Gauze. Rib spreader. Like Ew. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. But I'll take it. I know exactly, Eternal. <laughs> I fully expect everybody to die today. Pretty much. Ah. Okay. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. One, two. It's pretty handy. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. The zombie is getting to him. Never go full zom. Don't go full zom. Oh no, no. Hi, Slider. Hi, Barracuda. Oh crap. It's like okay. dying late. Oh no. Bingo. Bye bye. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. It's Do already you know spread. It? You should have done that immediately. You it's already in my anything. bloodstream. We it's know not... there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? We're gonna need a shitload of gauze. And the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it's it. It's not. It's already in my bloodstream. You think it just, it's like a bee sting? What are you guys talking about? Where the little butt just keeps you like pumping stuff into me? Arm, you'd have a shot. I know it's drastic. What are you talking you about? But what if it works? It might be the only way. It's not just in my hand. What do you think? You should have... No. No. We leave it. You, you, you talking sure? crazy talk. Yeah. You chose like to keep your to arm. Keep oh eye. God. I give my hands to the bastard who's got Clem. I'd be happy to have them both. But oh my God. You're gonna die. We're gonna need a ton of batteries. Yeah. I know Antizen. That's what I was trying to think of, Fred. I was trying to think of the word. That door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We just need some hey. Antizen. No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye, Lee. <laughs> uh, <gasps> Did Peachy have a premonition dream? <gasps> it's his left hand, too. Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> Could have used your arm as a weapon. You guys, I literally had a dream this morning that my left hand was chopped off.
That is crazy. <laughs> the prophet. <laughs> and it was my left hand. Oh my god. I should have done it just for that. <laughs> really? <laughs> Imperator, oh my god. From the series, you need to cut off that part immediately after Bitten. Which makes sense, because the zombie scratches you or bites you, and... You know, it's it like I said, it's like a bee sting, you know, and then it slowly starts spreading. So, like, why six hours later are they like, now we need to cut off the hand? That, that made no sense. I was like, no, no, it's it's already. I mean, I'm starting to black out. It's obviously like in my head. Why would cutting off my hand do anything? <laughs> Everyone was secretly laughing <laughs> when I was talking about my dream. <laughs> I have spoiler dreams now. <laughs> Mama Peach would have shown up and told you it's no big deal. Oh, good thing it stayed open. Now I'm going to be very aware of his left hand in all the rest of the scenes. Like, I could right. not have a left hand right now. We're going to have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good. <laughs> you lost your chance to be like Rice, but nice no. And quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Just fucking peachy. <laughs> Georgia peachy. Shanked. I am totally imagining climbing this ladder with one hand. Lee. Lee. Oh. How come? Peachy. Are you alive? Get up. We need some antis and stat. Oh my god. God. Hi, Naka. So far, good job. I stopped my friends from uh, from chopping my hand off because they thought it would help the zombie not spread through me. And I'm having dreams that are spoiling games for me because last night I dreamt that my left hand was cut off and they wanted to cut off his left hand and it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> Just effing peachy. <laughs> Hi, Debara. Oh my god. No help. Oh man. <laughs> Remember when Savannah was empty? He got scratched That's at the Crawford end of last episode, yeah. Thing right, I guess. On his on his left wrist. There must be thousands of them. And so he's starting to kind of black out from time to time. Today? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. And we don't Still, have any answers. Lee's right, and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far oh, and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. Thank you. Can you start that? It's between us and River can Street. Can you start the so sub raffle? No peaches, maybe. subs only. And they get going towards a hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look. 
if Let's if not, it's no no worries. Let, just let me know if you guys can start it or not. Town. Good. Good. I good. Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite I lost my footing. I was showing off. Just lost my footing. That's all. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny. You know. I know. It's just dizziness. That's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? Thank you, Talus. Talus is gonna start the sub raffle. We find a little girl out I there. I totally forgot about that. Right, pal. Now, let's get our bearings. <gasps> Yay, Shadow's cats! Don't have an angel sword, nothing. Achievement unlocked into the fire. Hospital must have run out of doctors. Not going back in there. It's an extension ladder. Yeah. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. Question is, is he still up here? He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Oh, nope. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Kenny, my bro. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Oh. That looks like Crawford Square oh. over there. Just walk it off. Um. Giveaway for game from the Peach Vault has started. Subscribers can join. That looks right. Um, I will just check anyway. Do do do. Yep, it is working. Perfect. Exclamation point raffle, join permission, subscriber, no peaches, perfect. Thank you so much, Talus. Um, so sub raffle is open. Uh, subscribers can type exclamation point raffle to enter to win a game of their choice from the Peach Vault. Uh, you guys can type exclamation point games if you want the, uh, if you want to take a look at the list. And we do this every single Saturday. All you gotta do is type exclamation point raffle and uh, you don't have to be here at the end when we pick the winner. If you win, I will send you a Twitch message and let you know that you won. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just. I know Naka. That. I expect everybody to, to die in this episode, down. and I'm we'll really worried. We'll stop off at the mansion, worried. like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. I know Clem doesn't yeah. die. Just need to figure out a way to get there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Using the bell tower to, uh... No way. It's higher than this roof, for starters. Well, that would... With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Oh. Uh, okay. That might be our way off this rooftop. We gotta ring the bell. to that bell tower. Right. I could draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the okay. mansion, and River Street. Okay, we gotta Street. get up there with the ladder. Even if it's just for Good thing minutes. we still have a hand. Alright, let's get the ladder. Clem <laughs> better not die or I'll punch someone. See, un unfortunately, um, just for the sake of spoilers, um, in the process of looking up, uh, you know, pictures, like, to, to tweet and to, um, to, uh, put on my Twitch highlights for The Walking Dead, I've seen, 
uh, you know, pictures from, or, you know, the, the title screens the from the, the, the next yeah. season, Goodbye and I've seen time. Clem. So as many as I know Clem doesn't way. die. Get down off the roof on but the I'm opposite side and bust too. our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. Oh. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Lee, you're so noble. He has accepted his fate. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. Hurry. Uh, seems pretty stable. Nope. Oh, shit. Go! Ah! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? The hatch. Shanked. It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. You can jump. You can totes jump. Well, there's nothing else to interact with, so let's ring. It's gonna be so obvious when he's not using his left hand now. <laughs> he had to jinx it, PG! Clem is the best. I love Clem. Throw duck. Oh, wait. They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Jump, 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 jump. Be Spooder Man. Molly did it. You can do it. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. I'm expecting a you quick time it. event. It ain't that far. Got this. You got this, motherfucker. Please take a running jump. Please take a running jump. You Why can do it. Okay, he backed up a little bit. Good. They weren't there to like try and catch him. If he missed. Good goddamn leap, pal. They're like, we're just gonna stand Get the hell back off and watch. This roof. <laughs> oh! He shot that zombie in the face. Holy... What the fuck? <gasps> the boat's gone! Come on! Just come the fuck on! Well, you we're just not get coming shanked. back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem! They're gone! Holy shit, they're gone! Relax. Hey guys? No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but, <laughs> yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks, and then stab us right in the back! They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever, and they were fed up. That's it. 
They could have stayed says in that he feels bunker. Bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us. <laughs> Calm down, Kenny. Calm down. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. Hi, Queskimo. No worries. Everything is so fucked. Clementine Liar. is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Let's find I a don't farm. Want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's Kenny sound now. Kenny likes that. The mainland is done. Yeah, Kenny's my we bro. Have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone, out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right. We get another boat, but not here. Aren't we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. Thank you, Omid. Oh shit! Here they come. In the house. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. We've already searched this house. Of course, there's, there's a map. Help Krista. Will do. Omi. What is it? Front doors! Ah, uh. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Oh, what? Convenience? Did you find that before? Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> this place was perfectly fine before. Why is it suddenly my ass. Get up Let's go! she get here? That was rude. Guys, help me with this! Uh... God damn it, Lee! I, I, I tried to move, and I couldn't move. This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway, and take a fucking stand! Uh, were we trapped ourselves in a hallway? Let's get as many as we can. Exotic we'll see peach. An opening. We Level go. up. How many bullets are there? And we're back. I'm gonna pause it here because I have to take a bio break too. Thank you so much, Silisi, for three months. Let's get some love in the chat for Silisi. Thank you, my friend. How you doing? Happy Saturday to ya. Because plot. <laughs> I know that was Bree. We just meat shanked in the head. <sighs> Thank you so much, Silisi. We're boned. Super boned. All right, I gotta take a quick bio. I'll be right back. <laughs> you got all the left arms. <laughs> it's gonna be nothing but like cutting off arms and hands in this episode. <laughs>
Always watching. Nope. Will Peachy come back with her left hand? Stay tuned. <laughs> A door-to-door -door campaigning thing. Oh, wow. I hope the weather was okay. <laughs> Kite said maybe all the Peachy Chan merchandise is having an effect on me. <laughs> so, Peachy Chan is spawning mini chins. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Welcome back to the fun zone. <laughs> it was freezing. Oh no. But that's yeah, that's true. You were you were moving. I hope you were bundled 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 up all warm. I cannot talk anymore. Ugh. It's a problem. Three. Meowry, thank you for the bits, hon. How you doing? Where to aim. Get ready. You know where to aim. Is, is somebody else gonna shoot? Uh oh. I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening! Up! You guys have had unlimited ammo up until this point. Go! Oh, great. Great. <laughs> yes, that yes, Kid Kites better. is going to Everyone turn into okay? Peachy Chan. Lee still That's bitten. the goal! Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Break up. I'm Break sorry. up. Another way so, out. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to eat ya. Ugh. Should have cut off my hand. I'm where my parents. She's at the. Did you hear that? Yeah. Mandible Damn. house or whatever it what was. What does that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. 
I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. He wants that to smash my happen. head in. How do you know that? Larry Guys, situation. I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up. There's a window. Break the window. I don't care hey, if it's 30 feet straight down. Here, but how is this we not a thing? Jump to a tree we're also or worked a up porch about or Clementine something. That we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, and not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Ah, Look! Ah, ah. It's corroded to hell. Way to go, What's Kenny. on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three <laughs> months Gigi. digging through a wall. If the rest is Less as dilapidated as this, Pine we might not have to. Thank you, Potter Snakes. Potter Snakes, thank you so much, PT. I appreciate it. Let's get some puppies in chat for PT. Puppy stampede! <laughs> Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Puppy. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. <laughs> Party snakes! Party snakes! Kenny's going to town on that I'm glad wall. You told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. Oh, I am. <laughs> I am. And if you were me, you'd, I'd, you'd be a foot Damn taller. It. Oh my God. Now I feel it inside me, like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, it gets asleep. It gets hot so when you break a bone? Guy. I've never broken a bone before. What do Thank you God. I don't, I don't do much. <laughs> we just get them in time. That's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure. <laughs> so easy, yes. Easy. Mommy, we hope we'll rescue Clem. Yes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The Kenny's so mad you broke his bromance. I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. Oh. <laughs> I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Relatively. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. You're walking pretty good on that infected leg. It's got a lot of gauze. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, 
as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. We're just having these heart to hearts with like pounding and and zombie growls through? in the background. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. Oh no! Wait, I. That she cop that was with me in the car in the beginning died. I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I just realized that. I kept thinking that the guy who took Clem was that cop. But he died. He's um, zombie food. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kimmy. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. Lily will save us all. If she took a train here, zombie biscuits. <laughs> Let the men full candle this one. Hell yeah, girl. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. If only we had batteries. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... seen go they got to do it their own way together don't you say that you stick it out as long as you can you do whatever you have to I could have done more exotic peach level up peachy high always enjoy the stream smile thank you so much ours corp really appreciate that resub let's get some love in the chat for ours corp thank you I hope you're having an awesome Saturday what's up Bye-bye, Lunier. Take care. Have a good rest of your weekend. <laughs> the wall would have opened with batteries. Oh, she isn't pregnant if she took a swig, right? That's right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. With her throwing up and us, uh... Or, or her, heck, maybe she is, and she just doesn't care. That's why she thought so long about it. <laughs> take the gun, take the gun, take the gun. did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Oh, better Kenny. Father. Kenny. Could have been a better friend. Kenny. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Got one shot left. It's gonna be Lee. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. What do you call this thing? Uh, art? Sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Mm. 
Oh, you can jump that. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Need some grappling hooks. You didn't even need a ladder. You can do it, Omid. Oh, oh god, this is, this is where Omid dies. Nope. <laughs> do it, Kenny. Oh! Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb If yet, Ben right? had come with us, is that where Ben would have died? <laughs> Hi. Would like for lunch, my dear? I would like um, bananas and oranges. Bananas and oranges. Cut up, sliced and, and, and yeah. I love your face. <laughs> <laughs> Art. <laughs> She's totes preggers. That's why Omid was like, there's more at risk here? Hmm, maybe. I bet she is pregnant. She might not know that she's pregnant. It's Yeah, it's kind of iffy. <laughs> maybe it was just water. I wonder. I wonder if, if Ben's with you, because you have the option for Ben to be with you. I wonder if, if he would have died there. Because that was kind of weird for it to, like, kind of come off of the wall like that. On the nose? Is that what it was? Okay, bye, Ben! <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. P. Can I take your order today? <laughs> It's good to be moving. Hi, Erendil. We can't stop. Damn right we can't. We're not too far. How we finding this guy? We we'll just get to the hotel and stick together. And use our heads. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Ooh, that doesn't Careful look stable. Here. At all. Why would you go across two at a time? With the double the weight. Uh, go across one at a time. That's really weird. Alright, they made it. And he let her go first. Waiting for it to break. Waiting for it to break. Oh, River man. Street's just up ahead. Oh, okay, whew! I'm afraid at every step that Kenny's gonna die. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. This roof could give way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> what the shit, Kenny? Oh, fuck. <sighs> well? I'm so sorry. Way to go. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. Then what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. I, I know we don't. I, I think Kenny's going down. Oh! Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Throw it up. Fuck. We can't reach. Uh, Find some fast. You couldn't have found something fast first. Would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Fa. Ah. Oh, come on. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Son of a... Come on. 
Again, with these stupid situations, she just jumps down there without thinking. She she's she's basically given up. Shit, they're in there. Fuck! Jump up here, baby. Let's go. Jump. <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. Oh, Kenny's gonna save her. What are you doing? Get her, Ken. Said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach. I got you, hun. Save her. Go, go, go. Do you fucking hear me? This is where Kenny dies. Get Kenny. Gotta run, man! Go! We'll find a way to get you! I like this music. Get the fuck off me! We're going in after him! We can't! We have to! Lee! Go! We're not even gonna see Kenny get killed. I don't know if that's good or bad. I have so many mixed feelings right now. Where, where'd he go? Maybe, maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He. Achievement unlocked mercy. I, I I I have so many mixed feelings right now. I I have so many mixed feelings. I mean, this that was so weird. You do know that Kenny's gonna show up as a zombie later. I bet Kenny's gonna eat us. Are you okay? Do you wanna talk? I feel. Kenny was my friend. As soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. Well, it gets an hour moratorium, at least. I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. You know what I'm talking about. Take care, about. Bob. It's nothing. Kenny didn't die for her. It's nothing. Let's just keep moving. She's preggers. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Uh, yeah, it kind of does. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. You're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. So many zombs. I know, I'm so like, there's no finality. Like, I would have rather seen Kenny get eaten. Just go nice and slow.
Krista's child is the alien. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. They'll teach him for pushing the guy holding the radio. I know it was his fault. It was a, it was a stupid mistake, but. Why wasn't the walkie-talkie on his belt? Why was he holding it? Well... Are you okay? Fine. I'm kinda fucked here. What are you gonna do? Help me. Fuck it. I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if? Don't what if. I'll meet you. This is where the party splits up. Why didn't he go onto that balcony? I mean, what was your original plan going over there? Oh, that's true, Imperator. Oh, I still have the meat cleaver. Dying light right now. Biscuit and I will go down the hall to the left. <laughs> I would. I nah, would not leave Biscuit. Nope. There's no way. Play of the game. Peachy Chan is most pleased. <laughs> you always go full shank. Undead lives matter. You have learned well, my pet one. <laughs> Head off. <laughs> Thank you so much to Bog for the auto host. If anybody's watching over on Bog's channel, what's up, guys? We're playing The Walking Dead. This is the season finale of season one. Or, yeah, season finale of season one. I did say that correctly. Um, so, just a warning of spoilers. Uh, if you have not played this far, you might want to want to pause the stream the stream the stream <laughs> okay where am I did I just go into random house or is this the uh... is this that that house where Clem is supposed to be or the the hotel it does kind of look like a hotel I guess that's my only option. A traitor to zombie kind. Hi. 
I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Mr. Rogers? <laughs> Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. It's not gonna end well okay, for me. Fine. That's what I thought. You shouldn't lie. Sit down. You're in my neighborhood now, bitch. Do you know who I am? Nope. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him, and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. Sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. Oh, I did. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I would do it differently if I could. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. Oh, she had it coming. You weren't there. 
The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. He was dead. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold. Yup. How could you know all this? Clem told him. Clem needed somebody to talk to. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Have you seen The Walking Dead? We gotta do some crazy shit to survive. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. Marry me, Lee. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. Oh! I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. <laughs> you put her in a closet? Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I'm gonna go full zombie on your butt. I don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> I'm sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't. This guy is to creepy. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Are you? I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. Uh, she's I... not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> not the arm! The face! <laughs> I can't! Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Kill this guy. He's creeping me off! Oh my god! Come on! I can't push it any faster! We're choking him to death! Right in front of Clementine. Uh, again. Oh my god. Uh, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. He... he could come back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. Good. Oh, I'm she sorry. still loves me. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> you look horrible. <laughs> That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Let's get out of here, okay? 
Yes, please. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. He was creepy as all hell. Oh my god. We got separated from Krista and Omid and we told them to find a boat and meet us north of the city. Uh... <sighs> okay. I need to process this for a second. So the... Ugh. The guy that took her and the guy that's been talking was the guy who... who we took the food from. But what if we had never taken that food? Because we had a choice to take the food or not. Um... He probably would have just had a different story. So what was his story? He took his son into the woods to go hunting, I'm guessing, for food. Even though they had food. And then he came back. I guess the son died. He came back. His wife left. Obviously he was at odds with his wife, but then when we took the food, that was kind of the last straw. She took their daughter and left. And then he found them dead. It doesn't matter then the rest of your- Oh, the rest of your group takes the food. Okay. Okay, Kenny takes the food. Okay. But Clementine wouldn't wear the red sweater. He just lost his son. Oh my god. He was creepy. He was like super Mr. Rogers creepy. You done choked him to death. Which way out? Through there. Just... Is that somebody I know, or is no. that a random zombie? Uh oh, it was the it, last bullet. It didn't bite you. Yeah, I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. To get oh. The room to get here. She said it didn't attack That's you. How we'll get out of Savannah. Camouflage. Okay, they finally figured out you gotta cover yourself with zombie guts. Oh man, Clem. I don't wanna cover Clem in guts. Ew. Oh, no. <laughs> She's like, I know what this means. Oh, scoop walker. Oh no, we're gonna get scooped. It's a floating head just like Peachy Chin. <laughs> oh, man. Deus Ex Kenny. Oh. 
oh, the son went missing. They were looking for him when the station wagon got looted, and that's when the life, wife left. Yeah, he said something like, I went hunting with my son. I don't know. It was, it was a weird situation. It's time to get messy. Sorry, Clem. I'm gonna rub some zombie guts on you. There you go. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. I'm so sorry, Clem. <laughs> Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Right on the head. <laughs> be like The Walking there. Dead, where you're like actually like That's hang the guts there. around your neck. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. Yay! I thought you were gone. Thank you. Ah, oh, she still loves us. We haven't told her that we've been bitten Stay yet. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. And walk like a zombie. Ascended Peach, level up. What's in the bag? Achievement this game unlocked. This so sad. I hope you play the next season too. I Love will. You as always. Hi all. <laughs> Thank you, Star Lord. 16 months. Wow, it's been that long. That is insane. Thank you so much. And yes, I, I fully plan to go right on to the next season next week. I, I don't think you guys would have a problem with that. This game is so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. How you doing today, Star Lord? Oh, man. Oh god. I thought I heard thunder. If it starts raining, I swear to god. It's time to do Michael Jackson. Oh, poor Clem. She's so scared. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Lightning ball! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh no 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 oh no 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 Oh worst timing Omid Krista Please Free wake up Please don't be dead Please no Oh Free I was so scared. It's getting kind of zombie looking. I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. Uh, Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. Yes. We'll no, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 it's a 
bowl of fruit. It's a bowl of fruit. Oh, it's really, really good for you. It's a bowl of fruit. Yay, thank you. Lemon time. Honey. Oh, the reveal. What happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. Oh. Could it be okay? I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. That's <laughs> so why we got to find Krista and Omid. I hope you liked them. Oh my god! Barracuda! It's alright to cry frown tissues for everyone. <gasps> uh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> the Bible fell. No! We're gonna need more tissues! I know, that's my fear, Ion, is Clem's gonna be the one that I have to do the deed to take him out. Rip my heart! Oh my god, can we get a huge puppy stampede for Barracuda? Barracuda, thank you so much! Thank you so much! Oh, the PG chance! Thank you to Biscuits! We got to look at the Biscuits! Let's get some more Biscuits! Biscuits for Barracuda! Thank you so much, my friend! I hope you're having an awesome weekend! Thank you for all the support! Oh man... <laughs> These tears, please, Peachy Chan. <laughs> oh my goodness. We need to get puppies! Puppy stampede! <laughs> and 50 peaches for everybody. Thank you so much for your generosity, Barracuda. It's been awesome having you in this community. Uh... <laughs> Five times, biscuits. Oh my goodness, okay. I know Clem's gonna have to be the one to do it. Or he's gonna like sacrifice, he's gonna like walk into zombies to save her or something. I'll help you. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. Okay. She's I thought so I was sweet. helping by bringing you in here. You were helping. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But I wanted to be up. It was hard. I don't know how you did. But you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. We're gonna need group therapy after this. No! Get up, Lee! The door is right here! You just need some orange juice. Get up! Get up for Clementine! You can do it! I can't. You have to! Ma'am, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! Do it for Clementine! Do it for Clementine! <clears throat> Damn it. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure. I don't turn. You won't, though. Then, I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. She's a witcher. She got, like, bright yellow eyes. You know about. Don't worry. God damn. You gotta be strong, girl. Give her some, like, last-minute advice. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. Doing good. Oh my god. There's a chair over there. 
The way out's through there, Clem. I know. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Bash my head in. <laughs> Take my A's. <laughs> use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken grass. Good job. There's a zom in there. I, I I would keep the bat. She's a strong little nine year old. Him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Keep your hands in the vehicle at all times. Open it. Baseball bat. He's trapped. Do we the still have the cleaver? Again. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Baseball bat. Right. Okay, Lee. Just gonna tell her to handcuff Lee to the thing so he can't come after her. Eat you otherwise. Safe then. Mm -mm. I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't. I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with it. How convenient that he's got a gun. gun starts the game with handcuffs end the game with handcuffs oh <laughs> oh god get him. get him watch out oh Why would you not have bat in hand? <laughs> Do it, Clem! Yes! Do it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> You're gonna have to get a lot stronger than that. You Five hits. I did it. I got him. I got zombie juice in my eye, so that wasn't good, but I got him. You can take care of yourself. See? No. Not all the time. Yeah, you can. Don't worry. You can do it. You can do it, girl. <laughs> now you're gonna have to bash me to death. Gun and keys. Oh, Clem. Hey. You're strong, Clem. You can do anything. But I'm little. <laughs> that mean nothing. <laughs> you go see bad stuff, but you 
It's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. She has to stay strong. She has to understand that there's things. She's going to survive. She you has to. Please. No. It's okay. It's okay. And Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, we met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee. And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. See me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. You can I do can, it. I can. You can do it. <laughs> Find Omid and Krista. They're looking for a boat. Find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> Keep that hair short, stay sick. And always keep moving. You're gonna to wanna to find some place like the motor in, but that's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. Be like Molly. And also. Uh oh. Death. Dying. No. What? What is it? I love you! No, don't worry. Alright. Oh, it's you. Me too. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Just wait until he actually dies, like he's looking you in the eye. I literally have uh, tears like running down my shirt. Was that it? Thank you, Talus. Uh, was that it? Well, that was it. Was it? I'm so sad. Those aren't tears, they're chihuahua glitter. <laughs> okay, I get that there's more. I get that there's more. Oh my god. <sighs> this game. This game. <sighs> Uh, poor c 
Clem. Poor Clem, man. <sighs> It'll make her stronger, though. She's gotta be stronger. She's gotta learn that if she's gonna survive, she's gotta do stuff like that. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Oh, man. I'm wearing glasses, but these onions are strong, man. <laughs> A group hug. <laughs> um, so, desperation, remove Lee's arm. Uh, I was in the minority. Most people removed his arm. He'll, he'll respawn in a minute. You wanted to see Kenny shank to shreds. The, the, I, I, even if it's in season two or maybe, I don't know, maybe this, I, I shouldn't start talking until I see the end scene. Um, okay, 28% of players didn't remove the arm. Lost temper. You and 25% of players calm, calmly argued with Kenny. Okay, so I guess that could have gone very, very wrong. And most people it did. Um, gave up weapons. You and 59% of players surrendered your weapons. Okay. Um, killed Clementine's captor. You and 40... Oh, okay. You have the option not to kill him. Interesting. I wonder what happens in that case. Um... Maybe you, like, scare him off. I was in the minority. Slight minority there. Uh, stopped Lee from turn... Oh. Okay, so we had the option for Clementine to not actually shoot him. And so then he he actually turns. Maybe then she kills him. Maybe she leaves him. I don't know. But so, so the majority of people had Clem shoot him, I guess. Oh, my God. Oh, Clementine shoots him if you fail to choke him out? Interesting. Aw, press F to pay respects to Lee. F. Oh, man. He might have an extra life. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, start? There we go. Ooh. Oh, it says Kenny was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. So, it says he was lost. It doesn't say that he died. It says he was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. If Kenny comes back at some point, I will be so hype. Um, so this is kind of like our whole story here with what happened with our companions. Um, so with Kenny, you defended his son in the drugstore. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. Um, and then for uh, Katja, uh, you attempted to give her food at the motor inn. You found water for Duck when he needed it. She shot herself when faced with her son's death. Um. I feel, I almost feel like So this is kind of like their stories, like, these weren't, like, optional things, right? Like, like, there wasn't an option for her not to kill herself with, with Duck, right? And Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. Was, was there an option for him not to die there? Or this is kind of like, just, this is, this is what happened. Like, so, so Larry died, Katja died, so it's like, you know, they're not coming back. Um... Uh, Lily, you backed her up when supplies went missing. You left her on the side of the road. So, that's open-ended. I mean, we don't know what happened to Lily. Whereas, if we took her with us, then maybe, then, you know, she would have died later on. Larry and Katja die in the same way. Larry's death was funny. No! <laughs> Hi, Chet, is she? Came in right at the end. Um... Uh, Omid, you bonded with him over U.S. history. You helped him get onto the train. You were separated after you crossed the sign. Oh, I don't even remember that reporter's name. 
Uh, you defended Ben when he was accused of stealing. You voted to throw Ben out of the group, and you dropped Ben from the belt. <laughs> Poor Ben. Um, I don't even remember her name. Uh, she died when walkers attacked the drugstore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Krista, you revealed your bite to her. Death is funny. Uh, you revealed your bite to her. You re revealed your bite to her again, I guess. Uh, you told her and Omid to find a boat and meet you. You asked her and Omid to take care of Clementine. Uh, Doug! Rest in peace, Doug. Um, told him he was a strange guy. You weren't wrong. You were with him when you found your brother. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Um, he was shot while trying to protect Ben. You saved his life at the cost of another. You really should switch those last two. Um, Doug, you helped save his life at Herschel's farm. Uh, you argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. You shot him before he could turn. You let him be your sidekick to solve a mystery. Carly, the battery lady. The ba lady who doesn't know how batteries work. Oh, man. Uh, everything is so... The ending... Well, we'll see what the, the extra scene is here. I feel like there's so much we don't know. I'm so glad that I get to immediately play season two. This is how I like to play my games. I, I, I like to wait until <laughs> these episodic games are already complete and then I can just play them all right in a row. Duck was a butt. Duck, Duck was just a goof and weird until that last episode that he was in. And then he was, he was cool. D Doug died for Ben, and then you let him die. <laughs> That's right. I'm glad I dropped Ben. That's right. I forgot. He Doug died defending Ben. Oh, Doug, so heroic. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Chadishi, I did. Um, I cut my hair on Monday because um, it was just too long. I was getting sick of it. It was heavy. It was giving me a headache, and so I just took some scissors to it. <laughs> Duck is basically Joffrey. Take us back up, take us back <laughs> Miss Battery. Up, take us, I am playing these games like Netflix shows, back. heck yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't intentionally wait until it's all out, it's just I, I don't get around to playing them until they're completely out and then people usually tell me how good they are, um, you know, and then and then I get to play them all at once, so that's kind of, that's nice. And, and we are going to play, um, uh, we are going to play, uh, uh, we're going to start season two next week. We actually, is it just me or was this a really short episode? Like, I feel like this episode was really, really short. We usually end around three-ish? And it's not even two yet. Muted voices. And we started late. Just Hi, Red Matt. Oh, yeah, I'll play the DLC too. What? Should I play the 400 Days DLC ne like next? Or should I play that after season two? Where, where does that fit in? Because there's 400 Days and then there's Michonne. Where, where did those fit in in the timeline, or can I play those at any time? How does that work? If you could pick one character in the game who died to have survived and be in season two, who would I pick? Doug, of course. Or Kenny, actually. If, if, Kenny's, if Kenny's dead and gone, and, and no spoilers in that, in that department, don't tell me yes or no. Um... Uh, actually, no. I would if if Kenny's gone, I would pick Kenny. Boy, she walked a long way. She's out of the city. She's nowhere near the city. How did she get out here?
Uh-oh. 